minimal dress ever like a tiny little like simple sheath and I was like you're gonna try on some bigger ones just for fun like I need you to play dress up today you're like a little Barbie doll she has like the most insane body like anything will look good on you so you need to try on like bigger skirts crazier ones do you get like a time limit they usually give like a time limit Aw, thanks, Sophie. I hope you have a good day, too. Yeah, I mean, if you have darker hair, highlights can be tricky, but because my hair is, like, on the dirty brown side, highlights always work. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Yeah, usually they give you, I think, 90 minutes. I think ours was 90 minutes when I went, which is perfect. Hopefully they have champagne. I didn't get champagne when I went because it was COVID. Still, so like everyone was still in masks and they weren't like giving any freebies of any sorts when I was dress shopping. I didn't try Gali Lahav. I'm going to be honest with you. I went, my mom, love you. I went to two, only two places. I went to Kleinfeld. Don't fucking go to Kleinfeld. Awful experience. Um, and then I went to Berta. Yeah, I went to Berta. And then I found my dress at Berta. And then I was like, that's it. I'm not looking anymore. Because I, I'm the type of girl where like, if I get overwhelmed with options, I would just like, it's too much of a decision for me. Like if I have less options, I'll know for sure. Like I chose the right one. Do you know what I mean? If you like the girls that try on a hundred dresses, like how can you pick? They're all beautiful. They're all going to be beautiful. So the first dress that like made me feel incredible, I was like, this is the one, this is what I wanna wear. I did post, I have a whole series of dresses I tried on but didn't get, but I get, again, I only went one day dress shopping. So there's not that many. And the first half was at Kleinfeld and they had some fucking ugly dresses. No offense. My mirror, I have it in my like to know it, linked. It's not cheap though, just warning you. It's an investment piece. But I linked pretty much everything that I bought from my house, if you guys are interested. Like I have these shell, I mean these like little things linked. Everything's linked. I think these are actually in my Amazon for home. Oh my God, such a good mirror and it changes colors. What time is it? What are we looking at the time? Perfect. I gotta go soon. The train's in 30 minutes. Oh, Kleinfeld was awful. It's nothing like the show. You go in, there's like 50 brides waiting. And I have like a few on my Poshmark if you want to look. Um, it was like 50 girls waiting. And before the appointment, someone will text you and be like, um, like, send us a few dresses that you like and we'll pull them for you. And I didn't realize that the dresses that I just like sent a few dresses that I liked um, from their website. Like I wasn't thinking too much about it. I didn't realize that the dresses I was gonna send them were gonna be the only dresses that they let me try on. Like you, you don't, you're not allowed to go around the store and like pick them off the rack and like put them in. Like they let me do that one time, but they, I'm sure Kai is different just to make the process go a little faster. But in in Kleinfeld, they don't let you walk around the store and like take dresses off the rack. Um, and I was like, what the fuck? Like I want to try that one. I want to try that one. Like what do you mean I can't try anything else? Like I wasn't thinking too much about the dresses I texted her. Yeah, Kaya is a smaller, um, it's like a smaller store. She'll definitely let you pick more. But in Kleinfeld, because it was kind of like a factory, they just wanted girls in and out, in and out. And like, it was my first day picking, um, trying on dresses. So they were like, do you want to buy it? Do you want to buy this one? Like, this one looks great. You should buy it. Like, I wasn't ready to buy a dress that it was just so pushy. I really didn't like it. And yeah, I hated all the dresses. And then you have to go out of the dressing room and show pretty much the entire showroom you in the dress. Like the only way to see what you look like is to kind of model it in front of everyone because the mirrors are all outside. So everyone's like giving me their two cents on what they think of the dress and blah, blah. It was just awful. Berta was so different. Like it was just me in the entire studio, like a one-to-one, experience it was so like
The thing in Berta is that they have a whole, I mean, most shops do this, I think, bridal salons, that they have like a whole rack, just like that you can take the dress as a sample as is and leave with it that day. And the dress is like discounted like 70 to 80%. So there was one dress that I found in Berta that originally retailed for like $15,000 that I could never buy. Um, and I put it on my body. It was in perfect condition. It fit me like a glove. And I was like, that's it. I'm not leaving without it. So I just left with it. So if you guys are like in a rush and your wedding is coming up and you're like, fuck, I didn't buy a dress yet. You can always get a sample and it doesn't take eight, nine, 10 months to get. Yeah, I hate being on display. I feel like Aritzia does that. They like make you come out of the dressing room to try on. It was the worst, <laughs> honestly. Kleinfeld's scarred me. Um, the pink bag is Chanel. It was a gift from Max right before we moved into the new house. It was like our new chapter gift. Okay, let's get ready. Okay, I think I'm gonna wear this leather jacket. I haven't worn it yet. So I'm thinking to throw this on. Do we think dark blue jeans or like dark blacky gray jeans?